What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Mass for the Dead. This is a brand new hero collector that came out just last night. So if you do want to download the title, I will have the links in the description below. So let's start this off as we always do because you know a hero collector can truly only be as fun as the heroes that you can collect. And as you guys can see, here are all the heroes that I've collected thus far. So let's take it from the top, starting off with their 2D art as well as the 3D combat models. Now I saw some people be pretty disappointed that the fact that this game decided to go with what they consider to be chibi combat models. In my opinion, I actually don't consider these chibi, like I'm about to throw a little bit of shade here, I'm sorry. But I consider chibi to be more in the lines of like Girls Frontline and Azir Lane, where the combat models are super small, they're mostly head, and the bodies lack a lot of detail. This, I don't consider to be in the same category as that. Um, yes, they are pint size, but I just don't consider them chibi because they do have a good amount of detail here. So like I said, I would consider this more pint size size models, not really chibi models, because look at these characters, they look pretty good. And of course, if you are a fan of the IP, you're gonna get even more enjoyment out of the characters. And I've got to say, for me personally, this game does get the FG3000 stamp of approval when it comes to heroes that you can collect. Because once again, I, I just don't consider this chibi. I consider this, like I said, a little pint-sized model with really good detail and aesthetics on it. So very, very good when it comes to the heroes that you can collect. Let's go ahead and jump on over into a combat, shall we? Jump over here into the story. Now the game has, the game doesn't really have long loading times, but it does have numerous loadings. <laughs> so there's, you're gonna see that little gerbil, hamster, marsupial, whatever that thing is. You're gonna see him quite often. So here's the squad that we're gonna jump into combat with. Um, the, uh, each one of my characters here also has a Chaos Relic equipped. Um, and just to kind of give you a spoiler for the latter part of the video, this is gonna be one of those hero collectors that the gotcha share characters as well as Chaos Relics, which you can kind of, you know, um, think of like worm prints, craft essence, equipment, things of that nature. So let's turn this off auto really quick. Now this is gonna be your standard turn-based JRPG combat style system where you're gonna do, you have damage abilities, debuffs, taunts, heals, things of that nature. You can also fight, um, you can charge up your MP or your overdrive meter, which is basically like an ultimate. You can defend, and of course, like I said, um, there are like DPS abilities here as well. So pretty straightforward when it comes to the actual combat itself. Um, not anything crazy if you, if you played any standard turn-based JRPG before, you kinda know what to expect when it comes to this combat system. Now, as far as judging it aesthetically, I, I, I gotta say it leaves a bit to be desired. I haven't really been wowed by any of the animations or any of the effects at all, including the overdrive abilities. They just haven't really been like, I, I'm really, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it. I'm gonna call it now against my better judgment. Looking at this game and playing it, like I said, I have played um, all the way through chapter seven on here and I've done a bunch of the resource grind dungeons as well. I've done multiplayer. Looking at this game as a whole, I gotta say that this is what I consider a MVP. This is a minimal viable product or minimum viable product, whichever way you wanna go with it. This is definitely an MVP. If you don't know what that means, it means that Whoever developed this game put in the bare minimum just to get the game out and playable. There's nothing here that, that screams polish or, 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 or presentation to go above and beyond. It's just so bog standard, basic, and there, I, I, I don't see the TLC, all right? <laughs> I don't see the tender loving care and trying to bring this IP to life and trying to bring these characters to life. I, I, I just don't see it. I don't see it at all. And I'll show you more about why I feel that way once we get out of combat here. But, like even that shot, like, eh? <laughs> not, not, not a lot, not a lot. So let's go ahead and rip through this one really quick here. As you guys can see, just kind of mm, could be better. Definitely could have been better. And if this combat system existed in another game, I probably still wouldn't rip on it too bad. Even with the animations, even with the combat, it's just the other things that I'm about to mention kind of make it even worse, <laughs> right? Because I'm struggling to see where all of the effort is. So let's go back over here to the lobby screen as we get out of here. So like I said, gone all the way up to chapter seven here. Um, every single one of the story chapters does have a little bit of story as well. So if you're a fan of the anime, um, you are gonna get a little bit more out of it. And, but as you guys can see, I've gone through all the way up to chapter seven. Um, that is the story segments. If we jump up back over here to the home screen, you're gonna be asking the question, what else can I do besides the story segments, FG? Not much. So story, 
resource grind dungeons. That's it. That's the entire game. Period. So all you're going to be doing is going through the story, going as far as you possibly can before you start, you know, two starring and one starring stages. Then you flip over here to the resource grind uh, dungeons to do like a strengthen quest. Um, this is like EXP for your characters. This is a uh, skill. This is like an uh, experience scroll for your skills. You have the abyss port. You can do these things in multiplayer, but let me tell you, that doesn't make the game better. It makes it worse because everyone takes their turn so slowly. It's just really grueling and just kind of tedious to do these things in multiplayer. You have these limit break quests as well. Um, these are going to open up depending on what day it is. So right now it's a red day. So if you have a character that's red that you want to limit break, you need to run this dungeon to get limit break materials, advent fields, training portals. Like if there's uh, a day that you need to have a specific dungeon, you can use the key to unlock that specific dungeon. But that's about it. That That's pretty much the entire game, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's also this little chaos memory place here as well, which is kind of like a... Let's try to... Let's try to... Look at the... Even the app doesn't perform super snappy as well. And it's kind of like um, some individual stories for your individual characters here. So once you unlock a character, you can go in here and kind of get some free cash shop currency as well as kind of learn more about the character themselves. But that's pretty much it. Story resource grinds. That's, that's literally all you have. Now, I know some people might argue the fact that all hero collectors are story and resource grinds, and I hear what you're saying. I do, and I respect it. But at the same time, those other games have, like, big raid bosses, or they have guilds, they have other, they have PvP, they have other things that you can do outside of those things. Here, just story, just resource grinds. That is it. That is all. Let's move on over to monetization, shall we? So this is a problem, and I just hit my microphone, my bad. <laughs> this game advertises VIP, but it doesn't actually have VIP. I, I don't actually consider this VIP at all. It's not gonna be one of those VIP systems where you get VIP, uh, VIP 11, and it locks behind uh, quality of life features and things of that nature. It really isn't. VIP gets you um, some stones overall. So this is a 30 day card. You get stones overall. Every single time you log in, you get stones and you get additional stamina. For all intents and purposes, this is like a monthly card that you see in all other hero collectors. But for whatever reason, they named it a VIP. And I was thinking about that. And I was like, you know what? This kind of shows how out of touch the the developers or the publishers were with this because if you're in tune with the mobile gaming stratosphere you know not to call something vip unless it's vip right and even if it is vip you might want to name it something else because people will see this and immediately write off the game but this is not a true vip so you have to wonder what were they thinking just call it something else call it a, a monthly card a monthly subscription call it literally anything else <laughs> but they called it a vip which like i said it really isn't um even when you go up the ranks this is bronze you can move all the way up to different ranks of vip but even then it's still monthly stones more stamina that's it that's all it is so just just a bad just a bad move there so that is that um, oh yeah, while I'm here and while I'm kind of, you know, just kind of griping on things, this is going to be one of those games that has a free currency and a paid currency, and it does it does two cardinal sins when it comes to that. Now, first things first, I don't like when games separate free and paid currency. These games print enough money to not have to make that differentiation between those two currencies. I just feel like y you guys are going to be just fine just having one currency, but it does another thing that a lot of these free and paid currency games do, and I can't can't stand it so your paid currency even when you pay for currency the free stones that you get with paid currency are considered free currency now i get it at a very technical level yes these are what you pay for these are quote unquote free i get you technically you're a hundred percent right i can't fault you by the wording of this however you gotta know that's scummy <laughs> I give you $99 and you can't make all of these stones considered paid in your little weird ar arbitrary system. Like they should all be paid. They should all be considered paid. I cannot stand it when games make you buy currency and then their bonus currency that, you, that they give you that you would only get because you paid money. You only get the currency because you paid money. It's considered not paid currency. I, uh, I can't stand it. It drives me crazy. <laughs> if you guys didn't notice. All right. Let's do a summon. <laughs> I don't have enough to do a multi pool. I've already done multi pools to kind of get some characters online here. So I'll let you see the full summoning animation. But I don't see this game lasting too long. I hate to, like I said, I know there's going to be some fans of the IP. Ah, I, don't, I don't see us standing that test of time. There's just nothing to do. 
<laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing to do. And even the things that you do do, they don't. They're just not for me. Just not very aesthetically pleasing. That visual. That visual porn. You know what I'm talking about? When you have your characters doing cool abilities and skills, it's just not there. So why? Why am I grinding up these characters? Why am I spending money to summon? Why am I going through all that effort in a game like this that doesn't really have any content that warrants me? getting all that excited for <laughs> in my opinion in my opinion all right so let's skip the animations here we got another copy of him duplicates will allow you to drive up your overdrive gauge so think ultimates got another copy of him and like i said the loading times aren't very long they're just they're just numerous they're just numerous in nature hey i got a new one little undead dude looks kind of cool Still like the characters, though. I do like the characters. I just wish this game would have spent a little bit more time in the oven. I mean, I, I am going to use the current year argument, but it's 2020, man. <laughs> Please put out games that have a little bit more substance to it. You know what I mean? Or, or check it out. And they're never going to do this. But if you want to put out a game like this that doesn't really have a ton of content or anything like that, Make it what, you know how like in, in PC and console, there's what they consider triple A games and there's like A games and AA games and B games, and, you know, games that have a lower price point. Do that for hero collectors. Put out a game where the multi pools are way cheaper or something like that or, or something. You know, I, I'm just thinking out loud. I haven't really thought it through all the way. But if you want to put out a game that isn't as full featured as the other games, why does why do the cost of the currency and everything else cost as much as those more superior games? That's that's my issue. If you're gonna put out a game that doesn't have as much content as other games, maybe you make your price a little bit lower. That way people don't feel bad supporting you as you kind of build up currency or you build up uh, resources to make the game better. Because I understand that some of these times, some of the times, um, companies don't have all of the money to keep the games in the oven that long to make sure they have all their features. Eventually they kind of run out of money. They have to kind of ship what they have. I, I understand that that happens. It sucks that, that that happens. I get it, but we shouldn't be the ones that have to pay for it. <laughs> I'm telling you, what is this? <laughs> but there you go, ladies and gentlemen, my name is FG3000. That was a look at mass for the dead. Why are you talking slow FG? I want to jump over here real quick. I don't want to, I'm not gonna do this in the video, but I'll show you multiplayer. It does not make the game better. Let me just tell you, it does not make the game better. Let's just say, like I said, it's red day. I'll go ahead and open up a room for hard limit break right over here. Go to my room, say, what up everybody? Everybody's welcome, come on in. Jump on in, and then you just kinda just sit here, wait for people to fill up your room, play with the stickers, need aid, I do. <laughs> and uh yeah the multiplayer in my opinion is just too slow it's just too tedious you're waiting for people to take their turns it takes forever you're just sitting around for most of it so yeah not not really my idea of a good time but there you go ladies and gentlemen that is mass for the dead if you can see yourself doing all of this um do go ahead and download the game like i said it just came out um yesterday but like i said be be wary it just doesn't seem like this game is going to be around for very much uh, for very long, unfortunately, unless they just have a ton of content in the works, maybe, but uh, I don't know. They're, they have a very steep uphill to climb. So that will do it. Nobody's even jumping in my room, man. How rude. <laughs> my name is FG3000. I do thank you uh, so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.